Vader Immortal is the first VR game that allows you to pick up and swing around a true blue genuine official lightsaber. You do not need more reasoning than that for why this game is great and this high on the list, but if I don't make the individual video release of this segment long enough, then YouTube won't let me put end cards on it. I learned that one back in the Tetris video. The melee combat of a lightsaber, the firefights with a blaster, the magic element with the force, the Star Wars gameplay setup is a pretty instantly appealing one. Probably in part why Star Wars has just as many if not more video games than actual titans of the industry like Pokemon and Call of Duty have. Putting those elements in VR really just supercharges their appeal for me. Letting me experience these familiar elements in a setting I've never gotten to before, but desperately wanted to. Vader's castle on Mustafar is of course an appealing location to snoop around in as you spy on Vader in his private life and eventually work with him. And the game's arcade mode is also a lot of fun. Probably. I'll let you know when I actually start playing it. I'm usually too busy examining all the different lightsabers you can use, checking them for cannon accuracy. Some of my favorites include uh, Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber and Anakin's original lightsaber, because they're two of the first lightsaber toys I ever had as a kid. Uh, Obi-Wan's lightsaber, both Phantom Menace and A New Hope, both great of course. Ahsoka's original green lightsabers mean a lot to me, uh, Darth Maul's and Kylo Ren's are of course fan favorites. Oh, and of course, I love the classic uh, Skywalker lightsaber. It's hard not to have that as a favorite, even if it's a really boring answer, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure YouTube will let me put up end cards now, so... Uh, thanks for waiting.